Season 7. My name is Ekaterina Petrovna Zamolchkova. Katya Slabada Nabobit. Hi, I'm Katya Zamolchkova. I am a woman of grace and dignity. You can call me Katya. <laughs> Best Katya! Меня зовут Екатерина Петровна Замочкова. Я была для кого-то яркой звездой и дарила серебряный свет. Это было главным делом для меня. Мы здесь. Это секрет Алиса Эдвардс. I am a good person. <laughs> I'm a good person. <laughs> Been addicted to alcohol, crystal meth, cocaine. Katya, you gotta go out, bitch. We got to. We got to do a grand entrance. Go out, girl. I need you to do a grand, grand Russian entrance. Oh, okay, acrobats. Here we go. I got to drink just a little bit more go-go juice to get up to that level, all right, bitch? Because you are turned all the way up. While I get mic'd up, let her warm up. Breathe. Stretch. Shake. Let it go. Okay, go to that side. You <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Trish Thompson from Quincy. I got here out of my mother's garage, it's whatever. Oh, I should talk to the camera. <laughs> Just a couple of daggy kids doing our thing. <laughs> <I'm> Barbie! <laughs> with me without a stitch of makeup <laughs> Here, Here's the thing, okay, all right, you know, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I got eliminated from RuPaul's Drag Race. I can't do an actual tongue pop though, I do it in the back of my throat. <laughs> Can America's Next Drag Superstar do this? Dreams of jocks, we get Dixie cups. Regret. 
Skincare products? None. I don't use any. That's why I look like I'm 85 years old. Did you say your prayers this morning? I sure did. Okay, well, I said one for you just in case. Well, right. I worship the devil. Is that going to be a problem? Get out of my house. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What are you wearing today? Where are you calling from? And what is your name? I'm Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Second fave, Arkansas. Third fave, Mississippi. Fourth, Louisiana. Jeez. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm just kidding. I haven't been booked anywhere yet. <laughs> Wake up, Pearl. Wake up. <laughs> it's a potted plant. <laughs> fucking hell is going on here <laughs> you know what that means no. i don't either well them. i can't say that <laughs> i can't say that either You know, you might think I'm a whore, but I like to feel I like to think of myself as a public servant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, community service. Absolutely. Put that on your resume, girl. Philanthropy. Well, I hey, Merle Fell, I think she damaged the part of her brain that can judge good drag from bad. Boop. Boop. It was so good. I have roadkill on I, my head right now. I'm wearing a dead so raccoon awesome. on my head. Doug and he's gonna teach me some British. Okay, darling, are you ready? I'm ready. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. You're a page three stunner. You're a page three stunner. <laughs> 14 days clean and sober by the grace of God. I'm still smoking pot, but whatever. I do not like competitions. <laughs> I don't like them. I am, I am not competitive at all. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. <laughs> And today by my special guest, Cheryl. Cheryl has a litany of talents, including the wave. If you've ever been to a sporting event, you're familiar with the wave. Cheryl, will you do the wave for us? Good job, Cheryl. Ow. Ooh. Oh, I dropped something. <laughs> FK admired Gore as an exemplar of what Schlesinger described as English political society, with its casual combination of wit, knowledge, and unconcern. Ooh, burr! Like a spokesmodel for um, shampoo. I'm like the high-end shampoo of drag. Hi, this is Katya, and I'm live with Bonnie Del Rico at the season seven finale party. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> what the fuck are you? I never lied to you. <laughs> Fuck you! You should've lost! You're a dick! I did lose if you were paying attention, Grandpa! Or a broom and rubber bands. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What said, when we, before we started the, the episode, I was like, thank you all for coming. Thank you, we're all friends. And sometimes in life, we make poor decisions. <laughs> but you never know what's gonna happen. So let's enjoy ourselves watching this episode. A Domino's Pizza takeout or delivery. How do you do your eyebrows? I do my eyebrows with a pencil and then I just draw them. <laughs> now push over, bitch, I'm in the middle. I'll Hi, I'm Barbara. <laughs> Excited about life, worried about the future. My my heart to go. My heart to go. Uh, no, 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 no. I love brown. Boots the house brown. Third is the word. Two. Right, right, Total two. turdy toot. We'll get rid that of was real. Yeah, you are disgusting. And if Katya says I'm disgusting, you know you it's bad. You know it's real. <laughs> what's, what's the tea? <laughs> what's going on? Tell me about your life. Quickly, though. Oh shit. 
You know, it happens. Let me see if I got a wet wipe in here. Turkey sandwich. That'll do. The one thing I regret is not grabbing him by the neck, stealing his wallet, taking an Uber to his house, playing cards with his wife, taking over his whole family with my new life as an old dad. How do you actually say your name? Is it Katya or Katya? It's neither of those. Ketchup. 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 Ketchup Jones. <laughs> You also really let us have it, but you let our nostrils have it because you stank the whole season. Yeah, it's just like 50. You will never be glamour. How famous am I? Not really that famous. I, I, I'm probably 10% famous. I don't know. It depends. How famous? How do you measure fame? But you're standing there just being an idiot for like 15 seconds at the corner Awkward. of my left ear. I hear some rotted cunt say, oh, I guess we needed a filler queen. Do it yourself. It's very oh. interesting. DIY. You know, you just gotta try to get it all. I found this guy on the street outside my house, and it turns out he was a homeless, schizophrenic, uh, drug addict, but he was really cute. So I let him stay at my apartment for three days. I regret that because he wouldn't have sex with me. Hi, is this Tatia? No, this is Maureen McDougall at Western Financial Savings. How are you? Okay. Would you like to open a checking account today? Hey, queen. Come on and spill the tea. Hey, queen. It's Look at this fantasy. Look at that fantasy. Yes. This is Tracy's wig. This, this is not a... mine. I'm going to wear a shitty one. Look Don't out. worry. Look out, Miss Fame. <laughs> a clock. Woo. And a little bit of grass. You know, I love a little bit of grass myself. Actually, you know what? I don't think technically. I don't think technically I'm allowed in the school zone because something that may or may not have transpired in the summer of 97. So let's just go back this way. Driver in this amazing race with the need for speed, you need God's grace. And if you're desperate like Harris was watching days of our lives, you can't cope without hope, and that's not on a soap. If you look into Oprah or Dr. Phil, you can shop nonstop or pop a pill, but the void won't fill and the pain won't kill till you let down. Kicking back in your lazy boy, easy chair, watching who wants to be a millionaire. Nah, you're not gonna find it there. No American Idol or Council Tribal has a final answer that'll satisfy you. CSI ain't got a clue. SVU don't know what to do. Not the ER or the OC. Nothing on a CD, TV, DVD, or MP3 can save you and me. CNN's got no good news. Here's a headline. You must choose. It's not a simple life, Paris Hilton. It's dread not thin ice living in sin. You can be an apprentice for Donald Trump or eat fear factor fast food from a dump. You can be a heavy hitter, a Wheel of Fortune winner, a Fox News no spin spinner, a flat out sinner but you better check this life that you're living and make sure your sins are forgiven i bet you 50 cent all this done came and went and eventually every black eyed peak went stefani p diddy and britney every wannabe on mtv with the icy blend every bits and chicken sings they are all gonna see the king of kings i don't care if you're j-lo or leno or bono one thing you gotta know someday you're gonna die bro then where are you gonna go Hey, I'm not talking some punk junk that's irrelevant like the Grandma's Church from way back when. It's not some preacher feature on TVN that you need to be liking or listening. The real superstar is Jesus Christ. He's the way. He's the truth and the life. One day he's going to split the sky. He's the brightest light and the highest high. So what I can be saying, what I'm telling you, is don't buy that stupid stuff they be selling you. It's all designed to fill your head and waste your space until you're dead. Here's the bottom line of my rhyme. Give your life to God while there's still time. <laughs> This is the final look. Um, it's pretty approachable um, and doable. How old are you? I'm fucking 33. Oh, shit. shit. Bit of a backstory. The curse of Katya. Up until this point, I have wreaked havoc and misfortune on everybody that I've worked with. <laughs> this is the episode where the curse is broken. <laughs> Oh. You're gonna help me up or what? I love all my children equally, except I love the attractive ones a lot more. Don't bully me.
You're bullying me. I would have to say these days the inspiration for my horrible fashion sense probably comes from the crippling, stifling, burdensome ingratitude of my most wretched, cretinous children, of which you are the satanic leader. Large, heavy coverage areas. You really need a hot, you need a bigger, you need a bigger tool. And uh, what bigger tool than this tool right here? Double entendre there, the tool and the person. Raja, your Jake's monsoon illusion was just a light sprinkle. I don't get it. Because monsoon. Oh, got it, got it, yep. <laughs> My womanly body is sponsored by Five pairs of dance tights, one pair of fishnets, three inches of foam on my hips and ass, two shapers, rubber corset, a bra with silicone breast implants sewed into it, spandex that covers the top of my neck down to the tip of my toes, wigs, and then 14 pounds of makeup. I like to think of it as the visual representation of untreated mental illness. I am not emotionally or psychologically equipped to deal with a lot of situations that happen in life. Words, meaning, what do they mean? What do you mean? What does it all have to do with the price of tea in China? I guess we'll never know. Can you write shaking my head, SMH on there? Okay. Life is hard, but it's rewarding. <laughs> Coffee! <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, we're having yoga phone sex right now. What did the gay necrophiliac say about his ex-lover? Violet Chachki. <laughs> Here's a trick. You just... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Am I out of the frame yet?